Hi, let's talk about ADHD and having really intense emotions today. If you're anything like me, you have incredible, big, fantastic, and terrifying emotions. Well, all the articles that ever come up with ADHD and emotion say three things. You have the same emotions that everyone else has. Okay, fantastic. They're more intense. Okay. And that you have more difficulty than other people controlling your emotions. Well, what advice does the article have? Good, yay, I now know that I have bigger emotions. But how do I help myself when those emotions are getting in the way of me being a mother, or my work, or anything else to deal with my life and dealing with people? Well, um, I discovered a course back in 2016 that changed my entire life. And I would highly suggest it to other people. It's called a, a mirror work course by Louise Hay. It's a 21 day online course you can sign up for. But it was so good because I learned all about uh, my different emotions and, and how they react in the body. And then what can I actually do with those emotions? I lost my train of thought because my daughter just came in the room. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry. Um, mirror course. I was probably talking about the mirror course. Well, I didn't know about my emotions. I didn't realize that when I said I was frustrated, I was actually angry. I had no clue. So I found some tools online and this mirror course and I used the mirror trick to this day. So I look at myself in the mirror and I say, I forgive you, Laura. And I have to look straight in my eyes when I say it. My kid's using her kazoo right now. Really? I'll be right back. <sighs> She's done playing the kazoo now. <laughs> Welcome to the life of a mummy. <laughs> thought too. That's the frustrating part. Mirror course. Looking myself in the eyes. Yes, that's where I was going. Okay. So I look at myself in the mirror and I say, Laura, I forgive you or Laura, I love you. And at first when I did that, it felt awful. I, I felt yucky on the inside because I didn't forgive myself and I didn't love myself. What? I mean, if you're going to love someone... You should really just love yourself because you're the only you you're ever going to have. So you might as well enjoy it. <laughs> and that's kind of my perspective on having ADHD. I might as well have fun with it. I mean, it is the way my brain works. So in some of these articles uh, with ADHD, uh, what they tell you is uh, self-forgiveness. Okay. How do you self-forgive? Try the mirror work. Pick up your hand mirror or go look in your bathroom mirror and look at yourself and try it. See what emotions pop up. You might be happy or you might end up being really, really anxious or any emotions. Let those emotions out and keep practicing. You never know where this is going to take you. And it's only going to take you good places, quite frankly. Self-love, kind of important. Story time. When it comes to the, the, the mirror trick I just talked about, with the look in the mirror, say you forgive yourself, I tried this trick with my oldest daughter when she was really little. She did something and uh, she embarrassed herself because someone lectured her. Uh, who did doesn't matter. But it's the way she reacted. She didn't just cry, she had that like, <laughs> freak out cry, angry cry happening. And she locked herself or didn't lock herself. She ran up to her room. She wasn't old enough to lock the door yet. So I thought, what am I going to do? She's so angry. So I stayed with her and I picked up a mirror and I, it took about two hours for me to convince her to look at herself in the mirror and then to say her name and say, I forgive myself and I love you. But the difference in her reaction at the beginning 
to the end of that entire activity was night and day. And she had self-confidence at the end of this. I mean, it wasn't easy, but wow, she could say, yep, I was embarrassed, but I forgive myself. What? Think about how many adults you know who can't even do that. They still think back to the time they were embarrassed in school. And they still, they beat themselves up over and over and over. Just imagine what your life could be like if you didn't beat yourself up. So I really hope you can use this tool. Tell me how it works. Check out the links below. below and uh, like us on Facebook. I know there's other things I probably should say, but uh, you get the gist. You know the drill. Have a good